the four travelers are returned to the encampment. At first, the tribe is hostile to Za and his friends, especially when they accuse him of killing the tribal elder, but the doctor convinces the tribe that Cal killed old mother by tricking Cal into showing the tribe his bloody knife. The doctor and Ian lead the tribe in an attack which drives Cal into the forest. The recovered Za is again declared leader, but instead of expressing his gratitude by freeing the travelers as the doctor expected, he orders them return to the Cave of Skulls where he will either learn the secret of fire from them or sacrifice them to Orb. In the Cave of Skulls, Ian makes fire for Za, using friction for a spark, hoping this gift will convince the tribe to set them free. Za comes to speak with them and is entranced by the fire. Ian says that in his tribe, all members know how to make fire. Za asks Ian if he is the leader of his tribe. He responds, with a nod to Susan, that the doctor is the leader. Meanwhile, Cal sneaks back into the camp. He kills the guard outside the cave and attacks Za. Cal sees the fire and immediately slashes at Za with his axe. Za grabs a thick branch to defend himself and breaks Cal's axe with it. Finally, Za gains the upper hand, chokes Cal in a headlock, and knocks him to the cave floor. Za picks up a big stone, while Barbara turns her head away, knowing what Za intends to do will be too gruesome to watch. As Cal's neck is being strained, Susan looks away in horror. Za smashes the stone on Cal's head with a skull-crushing blow, killing Cal and confirming his leadership. The doctor is visibly disturbed by this barbaric action. With fire at his disposal, Za is now undisputed. However, he still leaves the doctor and his companions to languish in the cave. After going out hunting, Za decrees that the travelers will merge with his tribe rather than leave and orders them confined to the cave indefinitely. Meanwhile, the four try to think of a means of escape. Absent-mindedly, Susan places a skull in a flame. This leads Ian to devise a plan to scare and distract the tribe enough to let them flee. Four skulls are placed on top of burning torches. This ghoulish vision distracts the cave dwellers, allowing the travelers to escape into the forest. This time, the four travelers manage to make it back inside the TARDIS, the doctor just about enters before the tribesmen catch up with them. The TARDIS dematerializes as the tribesmen throw spears at the craft, leaving them staring in amazement. Za, however, looks on in defeat. The doctor explains that he has no idea where or when they will end up next because the TARDIS is not displaying any data to help him direct the ship. In time, the scanner shows their new destination, a mysterious jungle with strange-looking trees. Before they go out to explore the planet, the doctor asks Susan to check the radiation levels. They are at the normal level. As the four leave the console room to clean themselves up, the radiation detector's needle passes into the danger zone and a warning light starts flashing.